Hello and welcome to this week's weekly vlog. It's another week uh, in our life. Uh, so we don't really have a lot planned this week, so we're going to see how things go, uh, particularly around the weekend. So um, yeah, let's just get to this day. I've got some work to do. Uh, it's it's Easter Monday, so it's a bank holiday, so Matt's off work. I've still got to do some work, um, but other than that, let's just crack on. Matt is back from the physiotherapist, physiotherapist. and the gym. Yes. So what did he say about your backside? Well, he rubbed it down. Yes. He gave it a good old rummage in there. Uh -huh. mm, with a massage gun and lotion and everything. Ooh, lotion as well? Yeah, proper massage. What sort of massage is this? Of my hamstring. Ooh, look at, look at a leg shot. By the way, for those of you who watch the UK resurgence of gladiators, Matt's thighs are only how many... Three centimetres. Three centimetres of giant size. Thighs. <sighs> There's a gladiator called Giant and Matt's thighs are just three centimetres off. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, uh, so yes, I have some stretches I need to do twice a day. Okay. But it's only like two different stretches. Why are you wet? I don't know. You've been outside. We've had our morning coffee outside, haven't we, Bo? Yes. So... And you've also been to the shops, and so there's a yes. bit of a haul. So there is a baguette, a French stick, which is in there. Oh, you should tell them what we're having. We're having cowl. Yes, but I don't like the name cowl. It reminds me of like, apparently it's a little, it's a Welsh traditional yeah. recipe. But to me, whenever I hear that word, I imagine like cow's brains being boiled on a stove. I don't know. So I don't, I don't like the name of it. But anyway, it's basically lamb stew. Yes, we've got some leeks. Ooh, leeks. Oh, leeks. reduced as well, 45p. Yeah, Carrots, 19p. 19p? A swede. A swede. A swede. Uh, parsnips. Parsnips. And we've still got some potatoes. Yeah. So that'll all go in the juices mm -hmm. with the lamb going to carve up what's okay. left of it. And if there's any beef left, I can chuck it in. Yeah, so for those of you who didn't watch our last vlog, it was Easter Sunday dinner and we had a little bit of beef and some lamb left over. Uh, cheese. cheese. So we're going to use it up tonight. Yes. We had beef sandwiches last night. We did, they were lovely. I got my mousses. Mousses. And then I got puddings. Mm hmm And baguettes. Baguettes. For lunch. Tuna? Tuna, yeah. Okay, so what I should show people, oh, by the way, I still kept the little serviettes around the cat grass. Oh, and, and the daffodils, look at these now. Aren't they gorgeous? Hello, someone wants to say hi. It's Bo. So this is what's left from her, the beef and lamb juices. So we're going to use that in the cowl. Right, so here we have what is going in the stew. We have leek, one leek, uh, carrots and parsnips. And this is all and the meat. And sweet and potatoes. Oh, and sweet and potatoes as well. I forgot about those. And that is the meat that's yeah. going to be dropped in as well. So it's lamb and the leftover beef. Yeah, this is a dinner for... A a few days, I think. Yes, there's a lot there. Yeah. But it's nice. Right, in it goes. Sploosh. I don't know. Maybe we should... It might sploosh. It might not be very delicate. Oh, there you go. There we go. So it should reduce as well. Yes. Every time. So, so how, to put how many in. hours will this be on for? Oh, it's seven to eight. There you go. And then the meat. It might need to be mixed around a bit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's full. Do we, need, do we need any more liquid? Yes, probably. But I'll mix it round first. And okay. Say. My mother and father have just been and they've been to the shops and they found some cucumbers. So we have cucumber ridge. We've, I've got two minis and I've got one uh, sort of standard size. And they are the ones I think have got the little bobbles on them. So they'll do really well. But as always with shop bought um, vegetables, they need a water, so I need to get those watered. I have a chilli pepper, hot banana. I've never had that one before. Sweet pepper, bell boy, and sweet pepper, yellow bell. So they'll be gorgeous. There we go, all watered and in the mini greenhouse. So before I do some work, um, I just thought I'd show you our little Easter bunny. Oh. There we go, it's all done and ready to eat. And it we've smells also, gorgeous. It does smell good. It smells gorgeous all day and Matt's been hungry so all day. I've been waiting for this all day. I've been so excited. <laughs> so we've got some bread and butter to have with it. There we go, yummy, yummy. Hi everybody and welcome to Tuesday. It's the afternoon. I haven't picked the camera up to vlog anything today 
because we've just been working and Matt's been catching up with work after the bank holiday. I've been catching up with some work, even though I did make a video yesterday. Uh, so yeah, we've just been really, really busy. Bo is on the sofa over there asleep. Um, and yeah, I want to do a little bit more gardening. So I didn't vlog this yesterday, but I did go out with my bucket and I did do a little bit of weeding. What I want to do, rather than tackling all the weeding in one big foul swoop, I'm going to try and go out every day and do 10 minutes, 20 minutes, just pick a little area and do some weeding so that it, it's not one massive big task. Also, because of the bank holiday Monday, our bin collections are always a day late when it's a bank holiday. So I've got to, got to remember to put the general waste bin out. I also need to top up the bird feeders as well because that's looking a little bit low. I can just see in front of me now. So we'll top that up. Um, and then that's it. Matt's going to be cooking dinner. I think we're having some pasta. And that's pretty much it. I've got some laundry on the go as well. Um, these are towels. This load of washing that I did earlier is just my Udi, my fleece top and just a few random kitchen towels and the downstairs toilet towel. Oh, Rory's just had a big stretch. He's been asleep in the greenhouse. Uh, so let's have a look um, in here. So I did do a little bit more watering. So all I literally do is fill up these trays and it sucks it all up from the roots. All of these are doing well as well. The sweet peas are still going good. No, nothing coming through on the seeds just yet, but that's to be expected. It was a beautiful day this morning. I spent about an hour and a half, two hours outside having two cups of tea. No, coffee it was, two cups of coffee. Um, and now look at it, it's gone a little bit chilly. Yeah, uh, I may have to even get the washing in and just finish it off in the tumble dryer. But just look at that gorgeous sight. We've got tulips and Rory. Ah. My wallflowers are just coming out as well. Just look at the beautiful kind of orange colour. I just, I love the smell of wallflowers. And the birds have pretty much eaten everything. Just look at the bird feeders, they are depleted. And there we have them all filled up. And there is a bucket of freshly pulled weeds ready for the recycling bin. Matt's cooked dinner. Well, of course he's cooked dinner. <laughs> Who else was going to cook Who else it? Was going to? Not me. On I normally on a Thursday I cook dinner. I do. Oh. Uh, so what have we had? We've got some mustard, mustard chicken. Mustard chicken pasta. Yum yum yum. Doesn't it look gorgeous? And we're going to sprinkle with some grated Italian style cheese, which is basically parmesan. But it's, it's not allowed to call itself parmesan. No, it's Morrison's code for parmesan cheese, and it comes in a tub. And you can just sprinkle it on, so that's very, very nice. Oh, it's still wet. Look, I, I got the washing in just in time, and I'm so glad that I did all of the the gardening that I did and all the weeding, because look, it's horrible out there. That's disgusting. So hopefully tomorrow will be a much better day. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Wednesday. It is, it's been a bit of a grey day today, but I want to show you something in the greenhouse. It's finally arrived. Uh, here is the tidy tray. It's my potting tray uh, that I needed for my seeds. Anyway, I've still got some more seeds to do. So, but look, isn't it good? It's big. It's bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Um, but anyway, it finally made it. So this is the tidy tray, an ideal potting tray for gardeners. And you can do all that kind of stuff in it. So I will leave it linked. It did eventually turn up. Um, but it does seem a good quality one, all the plastic is quite thick and it is very, very sturdy. So this will be ideal for that little spot. Oh, and we've got a baby joining us today, haven't we? Come on in there, my little darling. It's been a bit windy for you, hasn't it, outside? Yes, it has. Uh, so all the veggies are doing well. Um, the sweet peas that I pinched out are looking very healthy. You can already see where I pinched, they are starting to bush out. Just look at the tips. Um, still no seeds through yet, so need to wait for those. But everything else is doing really, really, really well. Hi everyone, it is Wednesday evening and I've not had a very good afternoon from when I last picked up the, the camera when I was in the greenhouse. 
I felt really peculiar. So I went to bed and I had about three or four hours sleep. Uh, so I've decided not to do the patrons chat tonight. I'm just not feeling particularly up to it, to be quite honest. So I'm going to have a cup of tea in the garden. It is quite chilly, but I quite like to be outside. It's always relaxing and calm. So I shall make a, cu make a cup of tea um, and then sit outside with the kitties. Oh, look, there was a knock at the door. I wonder what it and was. Um, Matt decided that we needed a restorative Chinese. The universe decided. Is that what it was? So mm -hmm. while I was in bed, the universe ordered a Chinese, apparently. <laughs> anyway, so this is what we're having. So it comes, for those of you who don't know uh, what a UK Chinese looks like when you order it, it comes in little plastic containers. Yes. And then you put it in your bowls and then you eat it. Yum, yum. And there it is. So it's a bit of a struggle to get it all on the plate. But anyway, there we are. Hi everybody, it is the morning of Thursday and there is a family of ducks moving their ducklings. Look at this. So it is a wet morning today. We've got grey skies again and everything is just looking a little bit damp. But I've got my coffee so all is good. The tulips are looking really, really splendid this morning. And I've been trying to have a look what's been coming up in the garden and I think we've pretty much got everything coming back. So I am hopeful that we haven't lost any plants over winter, but we'll see. It's still quite early on in the season. Uh, the greenhouse is still doing really well. I do love my little tray. Uh, obviously, I haven't used it yet. I will use it. I do have some more seeds that I need to sow. But I think it looks really good there. And it's, um, it's not an, a perfect fit, but it is sturdy. The one thing I will say is uh, it is actually still quite sturdy there. So I'm quite liking that. And everything is doing really, really well in the mini propagator. Okay, so I'm feeling better than I was yesterday. I woke up feeling all refreshed and lovely. Um, we have something. We do. We now, do send something. I'm not going to say the person's name, but we were contacted and she did say that she'd sent us something and it went a little bit astray yes. uh, in the post. But it finally arrived today, so we're going to open it and see what's in there. Ooh. Ooh, thank you so, so much for okay. sending something. It's like a it's mystery beautiful. bag. Ooh, it's a card. We've got some cards. We do. From, to Elliot and Matt and Matt and Elliot. Elliot and Matt. Okay, you open the pink one, I'll open this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's a lovely little... Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh, and we have little cats too. We do. Oh, there's two of them. We can frame them. That's Aww. really good. Uh, and I can, they're, they're actually cards. Uh, oh, and it's got a really nice big letter. So I think we will read these with a nice cup of coffee a little bit later. Uh, but I will say thank you so, so much, Lauren. Thank you. I will very much just talk about this one though, Go because on. obviously it's a black cat, it's Molly. Oh, oh I know, bless oh, she's her. gorgeous. Uh, these are Molly Rose seeds. <gasps> Uh, they bloom purple and green, which resembles a deep, rich black velvet colour. Oh. I thought you would sow these in honour of your beautiful mother. Oh, modern, yes. So that you'll forever have her in your garden. From a fellow fairy peri and a cat parent. Oh. Uh, who understands how much she and they all mean to you. Love, Lauren. I, oh. will, I will find a little spot in the garden and plant yeah. them. Close to where she used to sit, actually, over there, which yeah. is quite nice. That's cute. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. That's really, really sweet. There, there's also. Oh, oh wow. Oh, just, oh, we've got one each. Oh, wow. Okay, you Good. go first. <laughs> I love presents. Thank I you. love the paper. Look at this. Oh. What is this? Oh, we're supposed to open them at the same time. I think so. You okay. open yours. I'll open mine. Ah! Oh, wow. I, I think it's an item of clothing. It is. Fit into it. Mm. What's it say? The cat oh, <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Oh, look at these. What's mine uh, say? Yours has just got a big couple of cats on it. Oh, look. Oh, that's cute. Oh, they're gorgeous. Thank I really you. like these. Oh. <gasps> what size is it? Oh, that'll definitely fit. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is big, so this will definitely fit. Yeah, no, it's really <laughs> lovely. Thank you Thank so, you so, so much. much. Lauren. Oh. <gasps> That's amazing, thank you. Thank you. You really didn't need to do that. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. And I'm so glad it finally got here because yeah. we weren't thinking it was going to. Uh, but it did get here in the end. The postman just knocked the door and said, are you Elliot and Matt? <laughs> oh yeah. Be like, yes, yes we are. And yes, this is for us. 
Uh, so thank you so, so much. Mwah! Mwah. We're just putting the rubbish away <laughs> and there's something else in here Ooh. as well. So I know I have a really good old look. Make sure that we haven't missed anything. This is Overflow and Rory. And there's a little drawing of kitties on there as well. Oh. What is it? Catnip spinballs. Oh, I know. Rory will love this. Rory is the catnip fiend. Bo does like catnip, but Rory is an absolute, a devil. an absolute devil for catnip. He loves it. These are like spinballs. It's been sealed up well. It has been sealed up well. <laughs> Ta-da. So what do you do? So, I think you just pop them down. Oh, there's like a sticky pad. So you can attach them to like a wall or a door. Oh, and they, and they, they, they spin themselves. them. Let's have a little close up of this. So it's, it's a, yeah, I thought it might be like a crab shape. So yeah, yeah, you just literally roll it. And there's a sticky pad to go on the bottom. So Rory, we can, Rory will love this. Yeah, we need to find somewhere to put it. One of the door frames, I think. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. So we've just stuck the catnip roller ball on the door frame between the living room and the hall. And Bo's found it. You know exactly what to do with it, don't you, my sweet? Yes, you do. Ah, and here is tonight's dinner. So Matt's cooked peri-peri chicken pasta. Yes. So we had some leftover spice mixes. With some creme fraiche. To make it a saucy sauce. Yummy, yummy. Hi everybody, I've just got out of the shower and I am hot, so my face is red and sweaty, it's clammy. Uh, we've got a little emergency. Oh, Would you like to say what's happened to your to your tootsie? So I bought some new squash shoes mm -hmm. and they provide me a lot of grip and a lot of push-off. Mm -hmm. More than I was expecting. And so I, I went a bit um, too enthusiastically for the ball. He threw himself into the wall. I may have broken my toe. Well, we don't know. It looks swollen and bruised. I bandaged it, really it up. Hurts. I bandaged it up last night, and then it swelled up more overnight. And the nail bed looks really bruised. I won't show you the gruesome details. No. But anyway, they've advised. We've called the doctor, and they advised to go to a local medical service. Uh, minor injuries. Minor in rather than going to A and E because we might have to wait like six hours in A and E. So we're gonna. It's a bit more of a trek, and I've got to drive, and I'm terrified of driving there. Sure. We will get there. So we did have some good plans for this weekend. We, we were going to go and look at a wedding venue, we were. and then we were going to go to a nice quaint town. <laughs> foiled. And it's been foiled by a big toe. <laughs> And we're back, but it was a wild goose chase. So the lady on the number that sent us to where we had to go didn't tell us that they didn't do x-rays at where we were going to. On uh, the weekends. On the weekends and bank holidays. And of course, it's Saturday. So we're going to have to go to the local A&E anyway. So it was a wild goose chase. But having been to A&E within the past year for my face when I had the Bell's palsy, I know that you're in it for the long haul. So we've come back home. We're going to pack a bag of things to eat and drink. And then we're going to go and sit in A&E. Goodness knows how long we're going to be there. But anyway, we could be in it for the long haul. Matt needs an x-ray. Right, so because we are seasoned a &Ers from when I had my face, um, <laughs> we packed a flask of coffee. There's some drinks, some biscuits, and there's a leftover McChicken sandwich. So there we go. That's a what's in my A&E bag haul. This is the reality of Matt's ability to walk. So just in case you think we're dramatising things. He can't walk. Literally can't wait no. there. Well, he can wait there, but it's, it's laboured. So we've got to get all the way over there to the emergency department. And I couldn't park closer because it's staff parking. So, yeah, we need to sort of, we need to get that foot in there. there. Michael, Hospital coffee. Stop. We are back and... Um, it's fractured. Well, it, what he actually said, this is what, it's fractured. what he actually said was, they looked at the x-ray and, I can see us both now, um, they looked at the x-ray and there's possibly, potentially, a little line that may indicate a fracture, but because of the angle of the foot, they couldn't quite tell. So they're going to treat it like it is a fracture unless they can prove that it's not, which means you've got a toe bandage on, yeah. uh, you can't shower for the next few days and get, it, and get that wet, but we can wash you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can wash myself. We can wash you. Um, you can't drive until no. until you can stomp your foot, no. basically. Um, and you need to not do any strenuous exercise. I need to rest it as much as possible and be sat down as much as possible. Yeah, but that does not indicate you having a bell. 
I need a bell. You do not okay. need a I bell. I tinkle for you every time you need a cup of tea. <laughs> no. Yes. So here is the result of the uh, the foot bandage. So as yeah. you can tell, he's got to keep it elevated you and do. rested. I am afraid tonight we have cheated. The Colonel has cooked us food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we've had a KFC because Matt didn't feel like cooking. I didn't feel... I had a headache. I had a massive headache. I went to bed and then, yeah, it was a whole thing. So we, we've had a day, haven't we? We've had a day. We, had a day. I'm so, an injured party. I, I'm, I'm in pain. He says he's in pain. Okay. Anyway, uh, here is the chicken. So we're going to have that. We're going to watch some vlogs and... See salvage the rest of the day <laughs> hi everybody it is sunday and it's been wet overnight but it is drying up we have sun there's a slight chance of rain in the afternoon but i'm hoping it's in a day like this because there are a few garden jobs that i really want to get done so i want to mow the lawn it's ready for a cut uh, but I want the grass to dry off a little bit more first, so we'll do that a bit later. I also want to try and uh, sow some more seeds. Uh, I'd like to sweep the patio if possible, because there are still some leaves left over from autumn. And I need to feed the birds again, so that's a few jobs. Oh, and possibly some weeding too, depending on how the weather goes. But it is windy. There has been lots of gusts. There was a storm last night. But I think it was more wind and a little bit of rain than anything too serious. So that's the jobs for today. Right, so I've just mowed the lawn and it is so windy out now. I think the storm is just about to kick off and there was a little bit of a shower on me whilst I was doing the mowing so you probably couldn't really see um, from the time lapse. But anyway, uh, I think I've done the lawn. I think that's going to be enough for me today um, because of the weather conditions. So, Bo is in here, Rory's in the house. Here is a look at the tomatoes for the last time this week and all of the other veggies, they're doing well. And so are the sweet peas. We've still got no signs that I can see at the moment of the seeds coming through, but that's okay. Um, and I can't wait to get using my tidy tray, my sewing tray. So let's go back in the house. And I've got a few things that I want to show you before we sort of sign off for this week. So basically it's, it's windy outside, it will dry all of the clothes, but it's gonna rain. So it's even spitting now. So what I'm gonna do, when it's like this, I either put them on the clothes area, or I find the best way is just to give them a shake, put them on one of these velvet kind of coat hangers, and then hang them up. We do have space in the airing cupboard to hang up, uh, but when there's a lot of clothes like this, all I do is hang them up, and then I just put them up here, and they dry. Hi everyone, it is time to un- it's upside down. My skin and me has finally come in. So I get this every month. So every other month they send me the daily doser. So, oh, can't wait, can't wait. Let's get into it. Uh, you should see what I've got you propped up on. I have got you propped up on the cotton wool pads. 
<laughs> right, ooh, ooh, so this is, of course, the Smooth and Rich Moisturiser. This is really, really good moisturiser. It has, it has hyaluronic acid, shea butter, ceramides, and alono, alontoin? Alontoin. There you go. It's got all the stuff. It's got all the stuff that I need. Right, ooh, ooh, okay. Let's have a look at this. So it comes in like a little brown bag. I'm not doing a very good unboxing in the bathroom today. This is my cleanser. So it's purifying prep cleanser. And what should be in here is my daily doser. So I think it's exactly the same daily doser as last time. It's formulated specifically for me. Um, and it's got all the things that I need. In my active ingredients are tretinoin, uh, nia niacinamide and azelic acid there we go so this goes on literally once a day i put it on before bed uh, and the moisturizer goes on twice morning and night and the cleanser i use twice before i put everything on so that is basically it in a nutshell this i have actually stuck with the longest in terms of um skin care routine and i have no plans on changing it because literally all of my skincare fits into this bag, uh, which is fabulous. And hey, I think I'm okay. I'm looking a little bit red because I've just come in from outside from doing the gardening. But yeah, I absolutely love this. Um, use my link and code, it's in the description box below, and you get the first one for a steal, an absolute steal. So go check, like literally dollars. So go check. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that's kind of it. Well, I can hear a cat crying. I can hear, I can hear Bo beckoning. So I need to go and sort him out. I've had this re-diffuser a while. I think I ordered it off Amazon. So what I want to do is unbox it now. It is Lime, Basil and Mandarin. Uh, home fragrance re-diffuser. Zesty Lime, Basil and Thyme and Mandarin oil. So we'll have a whiff of this. Now I do appreciate that you can't smell it. So you're gonna have to take my word for it on whether it's, um, any good. So it should be like any other reed diffuser. I'm hoping it comes with the reeds. Yes, it does. And I think we've got a helper. So if the camera goes wobbly, it's because somebody has infiltrated. Haven't they, Bo? Yes. So, should we open the reeds? No, let's get this undone first. So, oh, there we go. I've got it off. So it's an air pure. So it kind of looks just like this. And I think Bo is, there you go, there's a tail in the way, isn't that helpful? Um, right. Now I always know there's always a little stopper. So let's see if we can get the stopper off. It's coming. It's co I did it without even getting a pair of scissors or a spoon or anything, wow. So let's get these reeds out. Ooh, let's have a smell. Oh, that does smell actually very refreshing. Cause some of them, they smell like the stuff you put down toilets. Uh, in the UK, I say it smells like toilet duck. And if you're from the UK and you know what toilet duck smells like, um, it's that kind of like forest pine smell. So I'm not really keen on the sort of foresty pine, but this is lovely. So the reeds come like this. I will leave this um, linked as well, but look, the reeds come nice and black. Let's pop the, ooh, let's put this little ring bit back on first. There we go. So what I do is every week I go around all the reed diffusers and I turn them over because they only suck up so far. Oh, I can hear a bow, I can hear the baby. So there we go. I think that looks really good. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put it. I might put it in the bathroom um, or I might put it in the downstairs loo, even though I do have one there already. I think it might have the most impact maybe in the downstairs loo. And I am so glad that I mowed the front lawn and the back lawn because it just started raining and it's just tipped it all down. So I do need to feed the birds, but I'll do that and show you that in next week's vlog. One of the bird seed feeders fell off, but the meadow is looking really, really good. We do actually have some bluebells now. Um, so it'll in about a week or two, I think all of them will be out in the front bluebell meadow. So here we have the invalid. How are you doing? I don't think I'm going to make it through the night. I think you will. I think you just stubbed your toe really bad <laughs> with a possible fracture. So it's it's elevated. We've well, kept we've kept it elevated. 
Woe is me. Oh, woe is you. <laughs> so you had a very interesting wash this morning, didn't you? Oh, it was like the one from the war. It was just well, a flannel wash. Yeah. So you can't get the bandage wet. So it's got to stay on till Monday. Yeah. So he's had to have a flannel wash. Yeah, it's called the triple F wash. Yes. My face fanny and feet wash. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Um, so anyway, it's a very different week this week for us, wasn't it? Yes. All our plans went out the window. They did. Uh, Rory's just having a little break over there. And Ro- Bo's just having a little... He's just finished. That's what he wanted. He wanted food. He was hungry. That's what all the crying was about. So yes, as I've just said, it's it's just rained. Tipped it down. So I just did the lawns in time. But just look, I just think they look really, really lovely. Okay, so it's time to say time to say goodbye. For the final time from me, because I won't make it to the next Oh, one. you will make it. Don't be silly. <laughs> Matron, Matron Elliot is... Um, known for her bedside manner. She's not known for her bedside <laughs> manner. And uh, <laughs> the less matron, matron Elliot knows about this toad, the better. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we are going now. So if you've made it this far, it's a very different week. We were going to look at a wedding venue. We were going to visit a little town. But anyway, Sorry. that will keep for another week. So thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Or a big toe up. A big toe up. Don't forget to share on social media. And of course, do hit that bell so that you know whenever we upload a new vlog. So from us... Mwah to you all, and goodbye! Oh. <laughs>